to the recommissioning of F-13 Peril. F-13 was built by Nielsen and Company of Glasgow in 1872. It was one of three life mills ordered by the Public Works Department to operate the central government's first railway project between Dunedin and Clutha. It arrived in Dunedin in December 1872. The first test run was recorded in May 1873 and it was not officially recorded as being in service until December 1873. Some records suggest it may have been named Clutha at that time but it was later named Eddie Ottle Tree, although that name eventually fell into the shoes. Fast forward 80 years, and F-13 was based at Liverton, where it shut the wharves and provided steam to heat the carriages, meeting interrail and ferry services. By the end of the 1950s, the presence of 1870s era locomotives on the national system was becoming rare. F-13 and sister F-163 became popular on local excursions, notably the Ahoka Punt Wetherill and later in the New Zealand Railway Centenary in 1963. F-13 also made several visits to Dunedin to haul trains to Port Charles for their festival week and also a fairly legendary trip to Hinden and the Torrey Gorge. Around this time it was also named Peril. After the centenary the life mail was officially withdrawn in October 1964, having travelled over 1.2 million miles over a fairly amazing 90 years service to the New Zealand Railways and its predecessors. Along with sister life mail's F-163 and W-192 and carriage from 2 which is also right here, it went into storage at Arthur's Pass. With the development of Ferrymead Heritage Park, the life mail was donated to Ferrymead, making its last big mainline trip back from Arthur's Pass in 1967. Initially, it was stored by our friends at the Tramway Historical Society before moving to the railway for display. In the early 1980s, the life mail was overhauled, including some fairly heavy boiler repairs to the front tube plate in a new saddle tank. It went on to operate for 10 years between 1984 and 1994, mostly at Ferrymead but with a few cameos on the main line on local excursions and in Omaru. Having languished in the back of a Lycomo shed for five years awaiting its 10-year boil inspection, the visit of F-13's old stablemate F-163 to the White Provincial Vessel was the catalyst for a brief return to service that reduced boiler pressure. F-13 acquitted itself well at White for over two weekends in September 1999. With enthusiasm high from the White for performance, the latest overhaul got underway in April 2000, with the boiler and wheels being removed from the frame. However, things quickly became unstuck with the discovery that the boiler would require more major repairs than was anticipated. With the main workforce committed to finishing the restoration of D140, the project effectively ground to a halt before it even really got going. With D140 in service, the tension turned back to F13 in 2004. The underframe was completely stripped, including removing the cylinders. 
the mechanical work was able to get underway using funds already on hand in the form of $10,000 grants from both the Canterbury Community Trust and the Christchurch City Council. The main driving wheel set was sent to ANG Price of Thames to have a new axle and crank pins fitted, and all three wheel sets went to the Glenbrook Vintage Railway for power repro hauling and crank pin quartering. Meanwhile, design work was underway thanks to Ian Fanshaw for the boiler repairs in the form of the new inner firewall. The project turned a corner in 2005 with a significant grant of $63,000 from New Zealand Lotteries to enable the boiler repairs to proceed. The boiler was then sent to Littleton Engineering. Although this was meant to be for full boiler repairs, more work was discovered while at Littleton, so the funds on hand were exhausted once the specialist fabrication and welding work on the boiler. By the time of the Framage Railway 50th last September, the Lycoming had looked complete. In December, F13 passed its final boiler inspection and it re-entered service on the 4th of January. After 15 years and nearly $100,000 plus many thousands of volunteer hours. I've firstly not mentioned any names of the society members involved as the chances of me leaving someone out is high. However, you all know who you are and the society thanks you. And hopefully, like me, the satisfaction of seeing it going is more than enough thanks. Although the project took far longer than anyone could have imagined, it is a good example of if you stick at something, you will eventually get there. Although we still have a few teething issues to iron out, hopefully the work done will see this life mode in good shape for many years to come. Thank you. So, can I just formally welcome F13 back into traffic? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.